Let God love you. So many times we think about faith as me loving God. And there's absolutely a love for God, but it begins with let God love you. I think this is where many of us get hung up, is allowing God to love us. We don't feel lovable. We don't feel worthy. We don't feel honorable enough. We don't feel like we have it together enough. And so God can't possibly love us. I don't know how, I can't tell you how many times people have said to me, if I show up at church, lightning's going to strike. Because they feel like, you know, I, I'm just not worthy of that. I can't, you know, so I'm going to try to love God. No, no, let God love you. Because so many times we resist that. And, and I think this is where things begin to change. It's receiving that love. Let God love you in your pain. Let him love you in your grief. Let God love you while you're still in your addiction, while you're still struggling. Letting God love us is the first part of receiving that gift from God. And that repentance, when we experience that love, draws us back to the Father. And it can change us and it can transform us.